Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to share <clears throat> with you all my dream um, about a, this dream that I had very, very recently, last week I wanna say. Y'all, this dream, oh, it's like I just, I, I mean, I woke up so excited. The first person that I told was my husband. I, he was at work. Um, I picked up the the phone to call him. Y'all, I okay, let me just get to it. No, I'm going to just get to the dream. I'm going to get to the dream. All right, y'all, listen. I dreamed that my husband and I were walking outside. We were walking outside of a building. I don't know if it was a church building. I don't know if it was our home that we were walking outside of, but I do know that we were outside and we were holding hands. Were we holding hands? We were walking side by side and all of a sudden to my right, I look up in the sky and I see in the clouds um, a figure of a man's face, translucent gold. I mean... It was just, oh, it was such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color gold. And I instinctively knew because the, of the Holy Spirit, I knew that that was Jesus. I knew that that was Jesus. And I was just staring and I'm, I was just looking in awe, but I was also excited. And my husband, he said, what are you doing? I said, look, look, just look. And he he looked up to the direction I was looking and he was in awe. And then the face of the man turned into the face. The best way I could describe it is the only thing that I could think of is the lion of Judah, the lion of the tribe of Judah, which is still Jesus. Y'all, and right before I woke up, He smiled at me the Savior smiled at me in my dream and he said these words I did not see his mouth physically moving but he said these words he said I am soon to come back he said continue witnessing continue telling people about their soul salvation and the reason why I came here and then he smiled at me and when he smiled at me i woke up but in my dream i was so excited i was so excited because i was in my dream i was like babe he's coming back he's he's jesus is coming he we're, we're about to get out of here we're about to get out of here and then of course the so when i woke up i, I said i was like okay so first i saw jesus in the clouds and then I saw him transfigure into the lion of the tribe of Judah. And he smiled at me. He smiled at me. Y'all, I can't even describe the excitement that I felt in my dream. The excitement that I still feel. Y'all, listen. Jesus is truly, he's on his way back, y'all. You know, we've been saying for years and years we're living in the last days and we've been saying for dec we've been saying for decades and decades that we're living in the last days. We've been saying for years and years that we're living in the last hour. Y'all, y'all wanna know what I really truly believe? I believe that we are at a quarter mark before the hand strikes twelve. I really truly believe that. And what I wanna say is this, y'all, please listen. It, it, nothing, nothing on this earth, nothing is worth you spending an eternity away from God. Absolutely nothing, nothing, nothing. Listen, you know, you, you, you think that, you know, the guy, you know, you, you may not be able to find somebody else or someone else may not be able to love you like the one guy that you're with, but you know that you're with that guy and you're not living right meaning that you're shacking up, that you're not married, you know, you're um, having sex without being married, you know, you, you know, oh, let me just go to one more dance, let me just go to one more party, let me just go to one more, you know, uh, get together where we're gonna, you know, uh, turn up and, you know, we, we're gonna, we're gonna get lit and all this stuff like that. Let me tell you something, y'all. There's so many people 
that do that and they say to themselves, I'm going to do it one more time. But that one time, that last time they go, is actually the last time that they breathe their last breath. That they're actually here living amongst us. It's so much stuff that I've uh, seen come across my phone with this person dying. This person went to, you know, the club. This person went to a party. You know, uh, this person, you know, was uh, living you know with a man the man was living with the woman let me tell y'all something none of us know we're gonna take our last breath none of us know we're gonna close our eyes for the last time and i'm telling you right now the word of god is so true okay the word of god is living and it is alive all right there's a way y'all there's a way that seems right unto us but the end of that way is the way of death the end of that way is the way of destruction and how we know we're in the way of death or destruction. See, I keep saying the same thing over and over because we really need to get it. We won't know that we're in the way of death or destruction. Because we'll already be at the end. And by then it will already be too late. Y'all, look, nothing. You hear me? We got to really, truly repent. We have to really, truly repent. And if anybody is in your life, let me tell you something, something that I've learned. Anyone that asks you to do anything that's contrary to the word of God, you could take your last breath in doing that contrary thing. You hear me? You could take your last breath compromising the biggest enemy of the church, the biggest enemy of the body of Christ. I do believe it's the spirit of compromise. Because the Bible says when you give the enemy a foothold, he will take a stronghold into your life. So don't give him a foothold. Resist the devil and he shall flee from you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. His righteousness, not your righteousness, not man's righteousness, not woman's righteousness, but his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. And let me tell you something, when you really truly get in touch with the with the with the with the Lord, when you really truly have the Holy Spirit living on the inside of you, nothing, no material thing will will ever say that, you know, this is enough because you content with the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Y'all just wanted to tell y'all about my dream and let y'all know that Jesus truly is on his way back. He's on his way. He's on his way. I'm so excited. I'm so excited knowing that Jesus is on his way back. But my heart aches for all those who stiff arm and reject the blood that was shed for their sins. My heart aches for that. I want to tell y'all right now, give your life to the Lord. Give your life to, to the Lord. Go ahead and repent of your sins. Confess unto God. Say, yes, I'm a sinner in need of your forgiveness. I need your forgiveness because I don't want to be without you at the end of this life. And nothing, no man, no woman, let me tell you something. I want you more than I want that man. I want you more than I want that woman. I want you more. I want you more. Because I'm telling you, if you step into eternity and everybody who steps into eternity and who is separated, eternally separated from God, they know exactly why. And they know that God is a just God and it's justified for the reason of them being separated from the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I want to say, I plead with you. I plead with you to really, truly give your life to God. Give your life to God. Give your life to God. The thief on the cross said, remember me in your kingdom. Jesus said, on this day, shall you be in paradise with me. God is not looking for a way for us to be separated from him for all eternity. He's not looking for a way to put us in hell. He's not. He's a loving God. God is a loving God. He's a gracious God. He's a merciful God. But God is also a just God. He's also a God of judgment. So listen to me. Give your life to God. He is on his way back. He's on his way back. And you don't want to be caught without being in the ark of safety that's paid by his blood. God bless. God bless. God bless.